Good morning dear students welcome to Shiksha Mantra but what i have said i have said good morning and by uttering this what should i say okay before we uh, do something it's uh, better for me to write down what i have said so i have greeted you with good morning yes dear friends that's what i have said good morning dear students now the question is what would you say good morning is this a sentence or not this is the most important question and that's the point we are going to discuss today in this session of shiksha mantra so let's stay with us obviously we are going to learn something very special from our end but the question is what is good morning will you consider it as a sentence or not write it down in the comment section below pause the video and let me know what you think actually dear students before we start to find out whether good morning is a sentence or not you must understand what is a sentence the first and foremost criteria that modern english grammar think of a sentence is that through a sentence you must provide a complete sense the listener must understand what the speaker is saying what's his intention what expression is there in his sentence so if the expression is complete if it makes a complete sense we consider it as a sentence and when we say good morning dear we get a complete sense but the problem is that in this sentence you don't have a verb but what is said in traditional english grammar in traditional english grammar it is said that no sentence is possible without a finite verb we can't produce a sentence without a finite verb but believe me dear student without finite verbs verbless sentences are quite frequent in now a days english language and it is grammatically approved and there's no problem if you produce a verbless sentences because we use them very frequently so today we are going to find out what are verbless sentences and how they are used but before that i would like to uh, produce another example for you for such a verbless sentence which we use very frequently and that is happy birthday yes dear friends very frequently we use this verbless sentence we'd say this is a sentence happy birthday that's a sentence but only a verbless sentence yes dear friends the verbless sentences are quite frequent now let's have a look what verbless sentences how we coin them and what are the specialities about them so let's uh, proceed our discussion with verbless sentences so when we talk of verbless sentences what are verbless sentences first you must remember that these verbless sentences they are pretty grammatical they aren't uh, they aren't actually uh, not uh, actually uh, supported in english grammar but it's sometimes relate to some grammatical description for a construction but the construction lacks a verb this is the most important point you have to remember it's a construction it's a grammatical description for a construction where a verb lacks but we can analyze it as grammatical units why because there are some functioning subject and object etc though there is no verb is found so it's a sentence but the verb 
lacks in it. So let us uh, have some examples from where it would be clear how we use them in our daily English. First, elliptical responses. So in elliptical responses, we ask questions uh, like this. Uh, who took my pencil? The answer is Sam. Now my point is what would you say? Is this a sentence or not? Actually, it means Sham took my pencil. But in our Delhi English, we don't say Sam took my pencil. That's not a proper way of speaking English. So there we say Sham and there's no verb in this and obviously this is a sentence but we have to remember though this is a sentence it's actually a verbless sentence and the same thing happens for the next sentence as well where did they go the answer is straight home here as well you don't get a verb but it's a sentence it's also a verbless sentence but the point why we consider them as sentence why these are considered as sentences because they have a complete expression after listening to that sentence the person who is asking the questions have completely got his answer and there's no confusion left in it that's why in elliptical responses we use verbless sentences and then yes and then we ask questions without a verb and that's very frequent. What about another drink? What about another drink? Look, here we also don't have a verb. We are asking questions but without any verb. The same thing happens. Why no email today? Why no mail today? That means we aren't using any verb here. But it's a complete expression and we call them verbless sentences. Yes, dear friends, there's many of them like this. Uh, so let us explore them one after another. In comments, when we command, that means imperative sentences, we produce imperative sentences like this inside everybody. We aren't saying go inside everybody. Rather, we are saying inside everybody. The verb is not used here and in imperative mood, we produce the sentence as a command and it becomes a verbless sentence, but it's a sentence. It's a sentence. Then, in some idiomatic usage, you'd find such sentences like the sooner the better. Now you don't have any confusion. You know, this is a sentence and you can't say, sir, this is not a sentence. It's a sentence, but without a verb. And these sentences are very, very commonly we use in our daily English. And even in your grammar books, you'd find this sentence plenty in use. So, we don't have any problem to consider it as a sentence, even without a verb because it's in idiomatic use and we know idiomatic use means standard use so it's in standard english we don't have any problem with them and these are the uses of verbless sentences in our daily english but it doesn't end here we have more for you in some subordinate constructions we form a verbless part. Yeah, I'm only saying we use some verbless part. That means subordinate verbless constructions that we do. Subordinate verbless construction. Now, traditionally in English grammar, they are called the phrases as we know. When a group of words don't get a finite verb and the work as a whole, we consider them as a phrase. And when they're in clauses, we use such part as a unit without a finite verb 
it's a very obvious consideration that we'd consider them as phrases. But now in modern English grammar, they are called the clauses. Why? Because there are plenty of logic. Let's uh, have a look at this sentence. I can help you if necessary. I can help you if necessary. So if it's a link of necessary, we are dropping if it is necessary. So the verb and the subject both are dropped here and it becomes a verbless construction but subordinate. So this is the main clause and with this, this is the subordinate clause. But remember, we can do it only in subordinate clauses. In principal clauses, such verbless constructions aren't possible. So they are clauses but verbless clauses and also in the next though in great pain they struggled on though in great pain here also we don't have a verb this is also a verbless construction of subordinate clause so just remember these are the most important points where we use verbless sentences and for your kind information let me tell you something when we speak of verbless expression, we must remember that in standard English, in many such examples, in very, very important uh, novels and important English literary creations, people like Ernest Hemingway, they have used such constructions like Paris with the snow falling and here a full stop is used that means this is a complete sentence paris with the snow falling and there's no verb in it paris with the big charcoal brass used outside the cafe is glowing red look there's also no verb present so in modern english grammar people don't consider verbless sentences as ungrammatical rather they are used very frequently and there's another such example it's uh, from uh, uh, Wallace uh, Stegner smashed wheels of wagons and buggies tangles of rusty barbed wheel the collapsed perambulator that the French wife of one of the town's doctor had once pushed proudly up the plank sidewalks and along the ditch bank path you'd find you'd find many of them but remember these are very much grammatical and we can use verbless sentences in our own writings in our own speech but one thing we must remember they must produce a complete sense that means senseless expression with verbless condition cannot be a sentence yes dear friends actually what happens when you produce a verbless sentence is must be with sense with complete sense not sense less and if it happens you can produce verbless sentences and finally it's time for us to consider that good morning is a verbless sentence happy birthday that's also a sentence and these are not fragments or these are not something else so that's what from today. We are returning very soon with another fresh discussion in Shiksha Mantra. Till then, bye-bye. Happy learning.